What's up, everybody, man? It's your host with the most, your boy, Dub Q. We are in the building, man. Welcome to the Black Cat Panther Podcast, man. Make no mistake about it. You are in the right place, man. But before you do anything else, make sure you comment, like, subscribe to the channel. Show that love, man. Look, welcome to the experience, man, the Black Cat Panther Podcast experience. So uh, without further ado, you see it already. Is DJ Sharp the answer at Ride Wide Receiver over here? Look. It's no secrets. I'm going to go ahead and put this out here. The disclaimer for this video immediately starting. If you like DJ Chalk and you like the DJ Chalk signing, please exit left now. I'm going to be a tad bit objective. So with that being said, your boy Dub Q is here to put it out there. There's no secrets this side of the Mississippi. DJ Chalk has entered the building. Uh, potentially, like I said, with DJ Moore going out, we had to fill the place with some butts we had to put some butts in places adam thielen which was a great pickup to me i believe that he still has a lot left in the tank but when it comes to dj chalk i'm a little bit reserved on this guy and that's simply one because of basically availability availability this guy signed a one-year deal five million dollars betting on himself to be available to be able to make it through a season so with that being said, that's already a flag up for me. Ooh, caution, flag up, whatever you want to call it, it's already out on the play right now. This guy has not made it through an entire football season in the couple of years that he's been in the league right now. Three to four years already, he hasn't made it through a full season because of injuries every single year, which he was injury he was injured last year. Uh, and I expect the same going forward because for some reason, this guy has a black cat walking in front of him whenever he comes into the building. So I'm not here to be a negative Nancy about him, but I'm just being realistic. That's why I said to anybody that does not like me being objective, you might want to go ahead and exit left now. So uh, DJ Char, like I said, he's a great receiver. When healthy, he's a potential, I mean, he, he was a previously a pro bowler in Detroit. He, he made the pro bowl. He had decent numbers where he got over a thousand, like I said, since then, he hasn't seen those numbers. Since then, he's been hurt every single year. And you've seen a tad bit of a decline in his numbers because of his availability. So with that being said, he signed a deal with the Carolina Panthers, one year, $5 million, $5 million deal. Um, basically betting on himself to get a long-term deal because he wants to be somewhere long-term. With that being said, uh, you're gonna have to come out and show us, sir. Um, there are no secrets that, you know, you get hurt every year because Let's look at his numbers. Um, look, 30 receptions, 502 yards, three touchdowns, and an average of 16 yards a catch. So um, 16 yards, come on, bro. Um, I hate to say it, man. For three touchdowns a year, you weren't going to be coming out here to charge us though $10 million a year because you quite simply aren't worth that. Um, uh, he's a two right now for us because he's made a Pro Bowl and he has he has all the tools to be that guy. But can he be available for us this year to make it happen? Um, so they you know, we really don't have to you know no long term obligations to him. Um, but if he come out and perform, like you should look for the Panthers to potentially try to bring him back if he comes out, gives you close to eight hundred to a thousand yards, he'll be potentially looked at as a weapon. For this offense and for us going forward i but need this guy to come out here and basically be that guy and right now i'm looking at him is he the answer for us long term at receiver no i believe that because his injury uh riddled field pass that you should bypass on this guy um just because there's too many flags with him with staying healthy we already got one receiver on the team and Mr. Plastic, you don't want to be in a position where you need the most weapons at and you have the least guys on the field. Because for a new quarterback coming in, you need weapons and you need guys to be available and ready to go. And for me, like I said, I'm not being negative to this guy, but he's going to have to show me that he can be available for us to be useful. You know, this has been your boy Dub Q, man. I'm getting straight to it. Is DJ Chalk the answer to me? No, he is not. Can he be the answer? He's going to have to show us. So, I like what we have in the receiver room right now, but I still think we need to go out there and add another guy to it. Whether that be a Jalen Hyde of the world, a Joshua Downs, an A.T. Perry in the draft. I know a lot of my guys think that none of those guys are bona fide number ones, but I believe that those guys could be groomed into the number one position. Um, you have a guy like Adam Thielen that's there that could help out 
and be a godsend for these young receivers and show them and teach them how to be professionals and teach them how to go forward. And so it just they have to have some of these guys available. Like LaVisca stays hurt. Terrence Marshall Jr. stays hurt. Now you got DJ Chalk who's coming through the door and he stays hurt. That's three receivers. Oh, and, and may I say, you know, Shy Smith has his little injuries from here to there too. So really Adam Thielen is the only one that could potentially give us something or be available to give us something. So that's what gives me cause to pause. We might need to potentially look at, make sure we, making sure that we address this need in the draft. Getting a young guy that's strong, that's able to be able to come in here and be available for us to get on the field. That's all your boy Dub Q was saying. I think it's a smart thing to look into. I'd rather be prepared than to be ill prepared at the receiver position, especially with a young quarterback at Rain. This has been your boy Dub Q. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.